Welcome to today's tutorial guys. Today we are comparing Alclad Chrome, Alclad 2 Chrome versus Illumilustr. So there's not a whole lot to be frightened about. I'm going to I'm going to take you through my equipment and show you some steps and we're going to be painting a couple of pieces and we'll get to compare these two products. Here we go. For today's tutorial, we're using this HVLP gun. This is a touch-up gun. These are $14 at Harbor Freight. I picked that one up yesterday. I have a water trap. Uh, these are about five bucks, I think, at the Harbor Freight also. So you want to make sure you use a fresh water trap each time you do paint. Uh, this is another airbrush I got. This is a more of a higher volume HVLP gun. Amazing to use. I think today we're sticking with the um, with the smaller touch-up gun. For base coating, you can base coat in uh, the high gloss jet black. This is a 2K paint. This is a 3 to 1 mix ratio. These are available on Amazon. Uh, we can also use rattle can. I'll be showing you that technique also. And then for doing your 2K top coat, clear coat, making your parts glossy, Amazon.com. There's a couple different brands you can use, but I really, really like this one. Acme Finish. This is FC720, and there's a medium hardener I'm using, FH612. So there you go. And then for doing our chroming, Illumilustr, my favorite. All right, let me get to work and show you these techniques. Here we are outside. It's a nice balmy 85 degrees today. Perfect day for painting. Now I can start coating this with a 2K automotive paint, but you don't need to. Honestly, you can use a black, flat black, rattle can black, and coat this guy very carefully with no drips. So you can start it here as your substrate, but you've got to finish it with 2K Automotive. Not going to work unless you use that 2K automotive out of an HVLP gun. Okay, here we go, guys. These beautiful domes have a nice base layer of black on them, flat black. And let's go ahead and get these guys super shiny. Here is where you want to get with this. Very shiny black, mirror-like. It is so shiny, it almost looks dull from certain angles, but it's <laughs> it is not dull. Guys, that is astounding. If that doesn't look like chromed metal, I seriously do not know what does. That is going to be really hard to beat. But we're going to give it a shot. We're starting with the same identical dome, same glossiness black. We're going to compare this time. L-clad. Chrome. This is Elclad 2 Lacquer Chrome. 
I've used it before, but I've never done a side-by-side -side with a competing product. Let's see how this looks. You know, my, my impression of this L-clad is it's pretty darn good. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna let this set overnight and in the sunlight compare it to the Illumilester. But so far, I'm pretty impressed. Here is the result of this side-by-side -side comparison: L-clad versus Illumilester. On tape, this might be really hard to tell the difference, but it's in person there there is a difference. This is the owl clad. Very, very excellent result. A little it's kind of dark when you compare it to a Luma Luster. This stuff is bright, really, really brilliant, very bright. And all clad, just a little bit, a little bit darker, but I mean both, extremely impressive. All in all, this owl clad compares very favorably to Illumilester. They're both very, very similar. Illumilester is just a little bit brighter. Uh, the cost is about the same. You go through a lot of owl clad to get coverage, and not as much of the Illumilester. But it's about the same cost, so I'm going to let you guys decide. Click on the subscribe if you'd like to be notified of future content. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.